Okay, so what, what are socket testers? Okay, so I just got this definition from Wikipedia. So a socket tester or receptacle tester is a small device, okay? Three, three prong power plug, okay? So it, it's plug your power socket and then it has three indicator lights, okay? So the light side will indicate if there's any fault in the wiring of your power socket, okay? So the power socket here uh, that I'm using is this uh, model, Hubble Test HD107E. Okay, so the three indicator lights are actually on the top, okay? Okay, so this socket tester is a bit more advanced. Uh. Most socket testers actually don't have so many features. They only have three lights, but this one also have an LCD screen there. Okay, so this is a, a bit more advanced. Uh. Okay, so you can see from the status here, right? Depending on which lights come on, it will indicate what is the fault in the, in the power socket, if there's any. So currently, so you can see when I plug to a proper working uh, power socket, right? The first two lights come on. So you can see these two red lights on. So it means, correct. Uh, if it's anything other than this state, that means there's something wrong with the wiring already. Okay, so this uh, LCD display also uh, shows extra details. Okay, so the RCD current to test, okay, so this first value, 37 milliamps, right, is the amount of current that it will uh, pass to the earth line, so that to actually simulate an earth one. So you can see this red one over here. So you press this, right, it will send 37 milliamps from the life to the earth, and then you will trigger a RCCB trip at home. But so you don't anyhow press, uh. <laughs> okay? So, okay, then the next one is the live to neutral voltage. So 237, okay, pretty normal. Another one is the neutral to earth voltage. So this one should be zero or at least close to zero to be normal. Okay, so let's go into the functions of the this socket tester. Okay, so I just plug it here and show you guys. Okay, now this green light saw is okay. Yep, I yeah, can see. Okay. Just leave it here. Okay, so these are all the functions. When the, everything is good, right? Uh, it just shows the first two lights. Okay, so I actually simulated this. So I just take the bare wires and connect to the, to the pins behind the socket tester to simulate the different ports to try to uh, engage all the different modes. So let's say there's open neutral. So open neutral uh, means that the nothing connected on the neutral line. Then you will show only one light, the middle one. You can show live and ground reverse. So I simulated here, live and ground reverse. Then you show you the second and third light. Then there's also live and neutral reverse. So only the left and the right light. Okay. Okay. There's also uh, other modes like open ground. So your earth wire is not connected. Okay. But live and neutral is still there. Okay. So we show you this light. There's also missing life. Okay. If you're missing life, means totally there's no power already. So nothing will come on. Okay, there's also an, uh, there's an eight mode, which is the earth and neutral reverse, but this one is the same as, is it the same as? Oh, sorry, this one is not, wait, wait. I think I put a typo here, this should be off. Okay, so this one is an undetectable error because earth and neutral, they are actually about the same uh, voltage level. They're connected together uh, actually at the circuit breaker side. So this one can't really detect it. So there's, a, there's an error here, this is supposed to be off. Okay. Okay, so, oh, curiosity. So let's open this thing. So these are, this is the circuit board inside. Uh, okay, so uh, open it, you can see the wiring. So actually from the three pin one, three pin uh, socket there, they connect using the thermal wires. They just solder onto the PCB. Okay, and then the, the LCD, right, has, red and green uh, backlights. Huh? So basically, if there's something wrong, right, then the red backlight will come on. Otherwise, you just show a green backlight. Okay. So let's look at some of the chips inside, right? So uh, one of these chips is a, is a power regulator. So this one is a non-isolated one. It just converts from the AC power to 5 volts. So this is probably to power the microcontroller inside. The microcontroller is the one that is uh, driving the LCD display, okay? So this one is uh, not isolated. So uh, if for some reason you're gonna play with it, right? You try not to connect to the power socket while you're playing with it because the DC portion is also live. Okay, so this one is for low cost. Uh, because so if the, because this, uh, this uh, 
socket tester is less than twenty dollars. So if, yeah, if, and somewhere you're not supposed to open it while using it. So it's okay. Okay. Then there is another one, uh, DC DC triple regulator. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. So the DC DC triple regulator actually powers the microcontroller. It takes the source from this fiber regulator. Okay. This one here. Okay. So uh. Yeah, of course, I will wonder, right? How the three lights, uh, how how are they how are they controlled, right? Based on the different uh, connections of your power power socket, whether they are faulty or not. So using some tracing, right? Using the continuity mode of the the multimeter. So this is what I was traced out. Okay, so it was a bit of painstaking work. <laughs> okay, so from the three three different uh AC power lines. So this is a schematic that is drawn on KiCad. Okay, so roughly what is here? So they have uh, some diodes here, some resistors here, okay, some LEDs, and then this one over here is an auto isolator. Okay, so this auto isolator signal is connected to the microcontroller, so that it knows uh, so the it can receive the whether this particular line is energized or not. Okay, okay so how does this uh result in the different operational states of the three different LEDs. So let's say uh, everything is correct. That means all live neutral and earth lines are connected correctly on their bus again. So this is the path of the of where the current will take. Okay, so let's look. The live, the mouse shows there, doesn't show on my screen. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you can see from the live, right? So the power flow from the live through this diode here. Okay, so one loop, so this LED turns on. The other one, okay, the current can flow in this way. Okay, so on the negative cycle, when the light goes to the negative cycle, right? So now the, the, the potential of light goes below the earth, the current actually flows from the earth in this way. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what about uh, open neutral? It means the neutral is not connected. So only this light, the center light will turn on. Okay, so this center light will turn on because the earth and light is connected together. Okay, so when the light goes to the negative uh, cycle, right, the power will flow from the earth to the light. So only the center part will light up. Okay, life and ground reverse. Okay, so life and ground reverse. Here we have the second and the third LED turn on. So I just put it here. So we connect earth and light this way. So you can just follow the path. So now this uh, bottom line is live. Okay. So you flow this one, flow this way. Okay. And then the other two lines are earth and neutral. So the light can flow to earth and neutral on their positive cycle. Okay. So you flow through the second and the third LED. Okay. So what about uh, life and neutral reverse? This way. So life and neutral reverse only the first and the third LED will turn on. Okay, so in this case, it will be this way. Because for the first LED, you, you flow whenever the life goes to the negative cycle. Okay, so the current will flow from neutral to life. Okay, then for the, the third LED, the current will also flow from earth to life on the negative cycle. Okay, so what about life uh, ground reverse? It's missing ground. Okay, so if I... If, like this one, right? this part is not connected. Okay, life is taking the place of the earth. So the current will flow through actually all of them. Okay, so there is an implication for this first and second LED. Uh. You notice that the first and second LED is actually dimmer than the third one, at least on the picture, right? you can see. It's slightly dimmer. So it's because the current is actually flowing across these two circuits. So there are two, resist two sets of resistors there. So that explains a slightly lower current. Okay, so open ground. The so open ground is like this. So open ground is only the only the first LED. Okay, so like this. Okay, missing life. Okay, missing life means there's no power at all. So nothing lights up. So that's really obvious. Okay, earth and neutral reverse. Okay, so off and neutral reverse is actually the same as the correct case because off and neutral is to the socket tester is indistinguishable. So 
So this is something that is actually is a common thing across all socket testers. If you connect all the nature wrongly, right, most socket testers cannot distinguish them. Yeah. Okay, so that, that comes to the end. So let me, oh, I'm gonna pass around and yeah, take a look. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so mystery solved. So uh, the point I make here is that actually this socket tester is not that complicated a design. I mean, you saw the circuit is very pretty simple actually, but I find it actually very elegant. It's true that just a bunch of resistors and LEDs connected in a in a way, right, able to solve most of this uh problem or try to detect whether your power socket is connected correctly. Or not. So actually, it's very pretty good, uh, This design. Okay. So I think that is yeah. That's all. You guys have any questions? I think I still have a bit of time. The first and neutral are they like connected? Yes. In your house? Yes, at the circuit breaker side. Breaker. I, I'm not sure whether it's before or after the breaker. If yeah, but it's around there, yes. It's to tie the neutral line to of yeah. It's to, to, to stabilize the neutral. Probably I'm not sure because I don't lucky I don't I'm not an LEW. <laughs> 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 so I don't know what it, I don't know answer this question before or after. Yeah. Because if they're connected, I think there's no way to there's no way. So. Yeah. Need more specialized tools. Okay. Then that's all. Then thank you.